Now let us see how to do website monitoring. Of course, uh, when we are talking about customers, they will have a lot of websites in their environment that we will have to monitor. And Zabbix good gives us a very good opportunity to monitor the website uh, that we may have to uh, keep a watch on on a regular basis. So how that is done is basically you have to come to the configuration in the left pane, click on hosts. So every website will be associated with a server. So for example, I am hosting a website called google.com on the Zabbix server. For example, I'm just clicking on the web part here. And here when I'm landing into the web scenario section, I have to create a web scenario. So let's create a web scenario in the top right corner. Let me give this a name as uh, google.com. And then I'm going to uh, select the option under application as web check because that's that's the way we have to do the web check. So it's just, just going to ping the URL that you're going to give. In the first uh, tab, there is no other information that we have to put. Going on to the second one in the steps, we just click on add and uh, we give it as uh, google.com. And then we give the URL as http colon double slash www.google.com. So this is good enough. There are many other options uh, provided here, but there is nothing else uh, that we need to fill as of now. The timeout is 15 seconds that we give. Basically, uh, Google would not go down um, uh, for, for, uh, for instance, but if we talk about any other company websites that we are monitoring, 15 seconds is a good period to understand whether the URL is going down or not. It could be our internal HR portal or it could be some referral portal or attendance. Any such website, there will be a lot of websites within the company that we, we can monitor using this. So let's click on add and then go into the third tab is the authentication by default it is none because we don't have to give any such credentials uh, or any other um, authentication methodology for the website to launch if there is anything as such then we can uh, give some ssl certificates or key and password or if you are using some basic uh, http authentication or NTLM or Kerberos, we're going to give more information like the username and password. So as of now, let's skip this to the HTTP authentication as none and click on add. So as we can see, the google.com has got added here and let's go to the Zabbix server and let us click on update. So how do we view this? Basically, we'll have to go to monitoring latest data let us go to Zabbix server and yeah right so that's that that is under web check so I just put it here so now let us click on apply we can see that google.com has been added so let's wait for some time for it to parse uh, the data so it goes and does some basic checks so let us give it a minute or so so that Google dot com is pinged and checked for the the speed and then uh, basically the response code should be 200 so let's just wait momentarily we can add uh, as many websites uh, that is needed to be monitored and simultaneously we can get the result of uh, all of the websites i'm just clicking apply multiple times yeah there we go we get the download speed of uh, our website google.com as 138.03 kbps so this is not the speed of google.com as such if you put any website as such it will go and start getting the speed at which the website is getting downloaded so the lighter the website uh, where it doesn't have many things to load then it can get downloaded much lower uh, bandwidth and it will take less capacity to load and get the result back but if it is uh, loaded with a lot of contents and then uh, javascripts and then pictures and then videos then it takes a lot of time for it to load a very good example could be the facebook front page once we log in then it, it has a lot of uh, 
content that it loads so it takes a lot of time or probably a, a news website wherein it has a lot of links and then content and then pictures and then videos it takes a lot of time so accordingly we have to set the timeout for uh, the website based on its uh, content we cannot just go with the generic scenarios more in the next cheers